Well, he did a bad, bad thing. He played a wicked game and the world fell head over heels in love with Chris Isaac. Decades on and we still just can't get enough of him. So much so that he's heading our way in a couple of months for a big tour. He's become a very good mate over the years and is one of my favourite artists. So much so that I was spending some time getting up to speed with one of his songs when I was rudely interrupted by the man himself. Maybe the bad, bad thing. Maybe the bad, bad thing. I feel like this damn guitar. I don't know what's going on. I can't find my pick. The last person to play this guitar was Chris Isaac. I reckon he nicked my bloody pick. Started in F, oh. Richard. Oh, Chris. How are you, mate? Hey, I think I was fooling around with your guitar the last time I was there. How are you, sir? I'm doing good, man. I'm excited I'm coming back and seeing you again. It's been ridiculously long. I can't believe it. You used to come like every year or two, and now it's been, I don't know, what, six, eight years or something stupid. It took a pandemic. It took a lot to yeah. keep me away. I don't care what the court order says, Richard. I'm going to come see you because I love you. Okay. <laughs> oh, Richard, my friend, I love you still. I loved you then. I always will. No, Chris. And Richard, I was a kid when I came to Australia, and I remember people didn't pay attention to me, and you came to me when no one else was talking to me, and you said, Chris, hang on to that dream. Did I say that? Do the impossible. That's what you said. You said, do the impossible. I don't think I said and that. And I said, who, who was that guy? <laughs> he said, that's Richard Wilkins. Where are you? are you? Have you moved to Nashville or something? I'm in Nashville. Wow. The music drew you back to Nashville, did it? You know, Nashville is uh, really where the music, it's like, you go to Nashville and you throw a rock, you're going to hit a musician. <laughs> Tell me that you're making more music with, uh, with some lovely people in Nashville. I am writing songs. I am going to work on an album. Um, I just have to get myself in gear. I'm trying to get the band ready. They're going to be here in a couple weeks, and we're rehearsing so that when we get to Australia, New Zealand, that people say, I recognize those songs. <laughs> And you're going to play the hits. Tell me you're going to play the hits. Blue Hotel, Somebody's Crying. Yes, I mean... Baby did a bad, bad thing. We're going to play the hits, and, um, and if people want to hang out, we'll just keep playing. Do you still love it as much as you ever did, Chris? I do. I love singing. I love being on tour, and that's the focus of my existence. I get up every day and work out so I can be in good shape to sing. I love it. You know what's really scary? The fact that Wicked Game is 35 years old. That song was a changing point in your life and career, I would suggest. The world was on fire, no one could save me but you. You know, some people ask me if I get tired of singing that. I go, I love singing that song. Oh, Chris, you are in sparkling form, my friend. I cannot wait to see you, give you a big hug and take you out to a footy game or something when you're here on tour. Put some new strings on your violin, will you? Yeah, and the guitar. And can you bring my pick back, my plectrum, please, when you come? I got it. I'll bring you one. See you soon, buddy. I love you. I know somebody and they cry for you. They lie awake at night and dream of you I bet you never even know they do But Wilkins is crying Oh, please Oh, he's such a sweet guy, isn't he? 
Uh, tickets for Chris's Aussie tour go on sale today. The theatre shows and a whole bunch of day on the green gigs. It'll just be wonderful to have him here. Head to livenation.com.au for all the information. We love our Chris. That's a great that interview. That was unbelievable. He's a legend. <laughs> Things serenaded He's by Chris Isaac. I tell you, um, Dickie and I have seen him in concert a, a bunch of times, and he, he used to come on the Today Show a fair bit when he came to Australia. Mm. There, there's no one better in concert. Oh, He's unbelievable. That voice. Pure, yeah, charismatic. He's a legend. I'd love to get him back on, Dickie. And I'm not talking about just Dickie. Oh, <laughs> love you. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?